Hello friends, welcome to my channel Local Guy. In my previous videos on how to connect two routers using LAN cable to increase Wi-Fi range at home, I got many comments about which LAN cable to use for connecting two Wi-Fi routers and up to what distance LAN cable supports. It means what is the range of the cable. If you have not watched that videos, then watch it. Link is given below in the description. So in this video, I am going to discuss about different types of LAN cable and its application. Watch this video till the end. Before starting the video, if you have not subscribed to my channel, then please subscribe first and press the bell icon for notification. Let's start the video without wasting time. So there are many types of LAN cable like CAT1, CAT2, CAT3 up to CAT8 cable. So there is a confusion what type of cable to use while connecting two Wi-Fi routers at home environment. Let's check all the cables one by one. First is CAT1 cable. CAT1 was old cable generally used for voice transmission in home and office. It consisted two insulated copper wires twisted around each other, mainly designed for analog communication. CAT2 cable was capable of voice plus data transmission, supports data rate up to 4 Mbps. CAT3 cable supports 10 base T Ether network, it had 4 twisted pair and supports data rate up to 10 Mbps, which is too slow but still found in some older offices. CAT4 cable supports data rate of 16 Mbps at maximum distance of 100 meters. From CAT1 to CAT4 were older cable and supports less data rate and up to 20 MHz bandwidth. We need large bandwidth to achieve high data rate. So in today's modern network we rarely find these cables. CAT5 cable supports up to 100 Mbps data rate and used for 10 base T and 100 base T fast Ethernet network. It can transmit data up to distance of 100 meter or 328 feet. CAT5e is upgraded version of CAT5 cable and supports 1 Gbps data rate and used for 1000 base T gigabit Ethernet network. Both CAT5 and CAT5e supports 100 MHz bandwidth but high data rate in CAT5e is achieved by increasing number of twist making it more resistant to crosstalks than CAT5 cable. CAT6 cable also supports 1 Gbps data rate up to 100 meter distance, same as CAT5e cable. But with greater bandwidth support of 250 MHz, it can achieve data rate up to 10 Gbps at shorter distance of 37 meters. There is an upgraded version CAT6A which supports 500 MHz bandwidth and 10 Gbps data rate up to distance of 100 meters. CAT6 cable uses physical separator called as spline to reduce crosstalk and foil shielding to reduce electromagnetic interference. CAT6 cable used at commercial buildings while CAT6A used at data center as well as commercial buildings. CAT6 cable is backward compatible with CAT5 and CAT5e. CAT7 CAT7 is proprietary standard not supported by IEEE and TIA EIA. CAT7 cable supports 600 MHz bandwidth and 10 Gbps data rate up to 100 meter distance. It is mainly used in core infrastructure. CAT7 it supports data rate 10 Gbps up to 100 meter and with 1000 MHz bandwidth it can achieve 40 Gbps data rate up to 50 meter and 100 Gbps data rate up to 15 meter distance. CAT8 cable supports bandwidth up to 2000 MHz and data rate 40 Gbps over 30 meter distance. It is ideal for core infrastructure with 25 base T or 45 base T network switch to switch communication. So that's all about the cable types. Now coming to our home environment, which cable to use is depend on your ISP plant speed and Wi-Fi router hardware. We can use CAT5, CAT5e or CAT6 cable to connect two Wi-Fi router at home. If your ISP plant is below 100 Mbps 
and your Wi-Fi LAN port is 100 base T Ethernet, then you can use CAT5, CAT5 E or CAT6 cable. Cause it supports data rate of 100 Mbps over 100 meter distance, but using CAT5 E is better cause is less expensive than CAT6 cable. And in future, if you upgrade your ISP plan or Wi-Fi router, then CAT5 E will work. If your ISP plan is above 100 Mbps and router LAN is 1000 base T Gigabyte Ethernet, then by using CAT5 cable, you cannot get your full plan speed cause CAT5 supports only 100 Mbps data rate. So in that scenario, you can use CAT5 E or CAT6 cable which supports 1 Gbps data rate up to 100 meter distance. Here also, it's better to use CAT5 cause it is less expensive. Overall, CAT5 E is better choice for connecting to Wi-Fi router at home environment. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to the channel. Have a good day.